Antithrombin-3 deficiency is a deficiency of antithrombin-3. It is a rare hereditary disorder that generally comes to light when a patient suffers recurrent venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, and repetitive intra in fetal death. Inheritance is usually autosomal dominant, though a few recessive cases have been noted. The disorder was first described by Edgeberg in 1965. The patients are treated with anticoagulants or, more rarely, with antithrombin concentrate. In kidney failure, especially nephrotic syndrome, antithrombin is lost in the urine, leading to a higher activity of factor II and factor X and an increased tendency to thromboses. Heparin resistance Heparin enhances ATII activity and neutralizes activated serine protease coagulation factors. Patients with ATII deficiency requiring anticoagulant therapy with heparin will need higher doses of heparin. ATII binds to thrombin and then forms the thrombin antithrombin complex or TAT complex. This is a major natural pathway of anticoagulation. This binding of thrombin to AT is greatly enhanced in the presence of heparin. Heparin does not affect vitamin K oxide, an enzyme required for the reduction of vitamin K, so giving vitamin K1 will not reverse the effects of heparin. Heparin is used in bridge therapy when initiating a patient on warfarin when in a hospital setting. It can be used in DVT prophylaxis in treatment, acute coronary syndromes, and street segment elevated MI. See also, antithrombin. References. External links, information on antithrombin from UIUC, non-profit advocacy group for patients and families with antithrombin deficiency.